Yesterday, when we read Amelia and Eleanor go for a ride, we saw the power of using words and phrases for effect. In my writing today, I want to create a sense of wonder about the constellations and really help my readers picture them clearly. So I also want to use fresh language, too. I don't want to use words that everybody uses all the time to describe them. So many people call the stars shiny, so that word's overused. What if I call them sparkling instead? Now I'm really thinking. The stars are sparkling, but what do they look like when I close my eyes and picture them? As I visualize, I'm seeing these bright points standing out in the darkness. I'll capture that in my first sentence. The sparkling stars pinpoints of dazzling light poke through the vast darkness whoops of the hmm, inky black we'll use to describe the sky so I use lots of Good, fresh vocabulary in describing words in this sentence. The sparkling stars, pinpoints of dazzling light, poke through the vast darkness of the inky black sky. Let's put this in full so we can see it all. There we go. Okay. I want to be careful about choosing words to create my effect. The sense of wonder about the stars. I'm thinking about the constellations and how... They were guides for explorers whenever they looked up at the sky. So I think the word bold captures their fearlessness and sense of adventure. Watch as I bring the night sky to life with words and phrases that show the sense of wonder about the scene. So as I gaze, as I gaze at their intricate patterns so I'm talking about the constellations here their intricate pattern patterns meaning the intricate things that they they create as I gaze at their intricate patterns I imagine bold explorers from long ago Gazing up at the up at the striking, never changing, because the constellations never change, they always stay the same no matter where you view them. Okay, never changing scene painted across the night and using the stars to guide them home. Okay, so let's read over my paragraph that I wrote so far. The sparkling stars pinpoints of dazzling light poke through the vast darkness of the inky black sky. As I gaze at their intricate patterns, I imagine bold explorers from long ago gazing up at the striking, never-changing scene painted across the night and using the stars to guide them home. Okay, so I want you to examine the words and phrases I use to describe the stars at night. What words and phrases stick out to you? What feelings do they create whenever you read them? Okay, so I want you to kind of write that. You can get out um, your writer's notebook or a grammar notebook if you have it or just a piece of paper. And kind of I want you to look at my paragraph and write down some of the words or phrases that stick out to you. Maybe things that make you feel a certain way or things that just paint a picture in your brain. Okay. Like I'm thinking, I really like the fact that I put inky black sky because it makes me think of the sky just being completely black. Okay, so I want you to think about things like that and write them down on a piece of paper or in your notebook.
Okay, some things that you might have found are um, pinpoints of dazzling light as a phrase, the inky black sky, um, intricate patterns that they make, the bold explorers, the striking, never-changing scene painted across the night, and using stars to guide them home. Okay, so this week you want to continue to choose, carefully choose words and phrases that can lift your writing. They create a feeling about the topic and can help our readers clearly visualize our topics. So I want you to keep trying to include words and phrases in your opinion writing during writing class, and hopefully it brings your um, writing to life.